Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are. Hope you're having a great day. My name's Game Orlo. Welcome to my channel. So today we're going to attempt to recreate the Goth House from the original Sims game, Sims 1, in Sims 4. Uh, so we're going to have a quick look at the house in Sims 1, and then I'm going to switch over to Sims 4 and start building. So this is the, the Goth House. They've got, when you come into the house, you've got the... Uh, the living room, which is very sparse, not much in it, with the stairs up upstairs. You've got a little porch outside. Got Bella and Mortimer's bedroom here, with a family bathroom in the middle. I did play this house a lot when I was younger. Um, got their little kitchen. Got a uh, outside dining area with a nice fountain. Upstairs we've got Cassandra's room. Not much in there. She's got a bed, an easel, toy chest, and a um, dollhouse. And then in the backyard, they've got a graveyard. So that's what we're going to try and recreate today. Oh, we've got a mystery man here. So yeah, we're going to switch over to The Sims 4 now to try and recreate this. Okay, so we're going to build a new quest. We're going to build it in this um, the biggest lot, 50 by 50. I know it doesn't need to be 50 by 50, but I can move it onto a small lot once I got the sizing and the placement of certain things. So I will put a screen, the screenshot on screen for you so that you can see as I'm building. Let's get the bare bones done though. So we've got... Oh, so we've got our tarty type thing there. Then we've got looks like two, then a door, and then a single one. Then we've got that, that and then I think that's it. The bedroom. Then we've got, so, one, two, door, one, this is their bedroom here. This doesn't seem right. I suppose, bed. Yeah, that seems about right, okay. And then the living room comes along from here all the way along we've got that there that there cool then we've got door one two three and this is where our bathroom is Keep going to the wrong place. Go across to here. Down by one. Cool. And then we've got one space for door one. Oh, that looks like the downstairs sorted, I think. Yep. Just need to get the upstairs done. So there's really not much up to the ups really not much of the upstairs at all. So we've got the little tarty thing again. It's copied from downstairs. And for me it goes down to not quite that far, to there, I think. Uh lines up with the bathroom. There again, that's the upstairs. So first thing is going to be putting in the stairs for the downstairs. From here upwards, let's escape that. Preferably one with brown steps, but white. Um, I don't know what it's called, like the, the board. The, the bit underneath the step. 
Right, so the stairs don't go quite as far as they do. I think that's more like what it is in the actual Sims, th uh, in the Sims One, because there's three spaces in front of the stairs, and the stairs take up four. So the stairs must have been a lot longer in the uh, in Sims One. So let's have a look to see if we can find some nice floor that matches roughly. That's quite a similar style. Uh, let's put some lights in first. I function. Come on. Just put some lights in just to give it some. Okay. So we should have a sofa here in the corner. Let's do that. Got a nice blue sofa, just a two seater. There, that's pretty much the colour of that. We need a piano here. We do have a keyboard, so that could go there. I think that's the closest we're going to get. And we've got a single bookcase here, a nice brown wooden bookcase. That's pretty much the vibe. We've got a little end table here. Um, not a coffee table, I need an actual end table, but ah, this is kind of the vibe. In dark wood. A little uh, fish tank here. Um, a little fish tank on there. And that's pretty much the living room done. We just need to do the, um, the floors, which is like a tiled parquet type floor. Let's see, this could be closest to the vibe. We've got a slightly lighter colour. That's pretty much it. That's quite close to what they've got. It's not quite as dark as they have in the house. Can't see any darker ones. In the bedroom they've got a bed, obviously. This is slightly more the style in the terms of the bed frame. It's got holes in it. we got blue I think we might use that one actually. Then we've got a tall round bedside table, uh, end table. Could use that one again. Oh, apparently we can't put that on an end table. Okay, we won't use that one then, that's fine. Blue, there we go. Then we've got a blue carpet. So we've got a dark carpet. And then they've got a weird sort of beige type wall. That's pretty much the colour they've got on their walls. Next in the bathroom, they've got the bath over here. Have we got a similar bath? We do. This is almost the exact bath that they have. Bit hit there. Then we've got the sink up against this wall. The toilet in the corner. Then we've got a we've got a window. Uh, not a window. We have a mirror on the wall here. I think by the looks of it. So in the kitchen, they've got some green countertops. We might have to go for like green. Yeah, we'll go for green cabinets rather than the countertops. And there's one there. We've got the white cooker here. This one. A little sink here. Let's go for this one. There's a lamp in the corner. I mean, this is similar to the vibe. Maybe like that. All right, there's a phone on the wall. We can't put a phone on the wall because this is The Sims 4 and there are no phones. Let's look in. We need some, I'd like a cactus here. I'm not sure whether we've got any cactuses in a pot that we can put here, but let's have a quick look. Oh, we've got this one. So we need to put that one outside as well because they've got the same one there. And they have the same one here. They do like the cactuses. Oh, I forgot to put the light on the table here. Let's do that now. 
Again, another table lamp. It's a weird sort of spaceship saucer type one. This is kind of similar, to be honest. So we can put that one in. Now on the floor they've got a tile. But it's like a bluish and grey tile. Um, none of these really match. I think this is the closest colour we've got. It doesn't really... Um, match completely. The walls seem to be, it's got like a dado rail in the middle and sort of a lightish yellow I think with a blue, maybe that one actually. In the bathroom it's green tiles on the floor so I'm sure we can do, I'm sure we can do green tiles for them. It's horrible green. That's the, it's not really what they've got but it's the closest green they've got and then they've got half tiled green walls as well. Let's look. Ugh. Maybe we will have to do those floor tiles. They do match, they do match. So that's the downstairs decorated. Next, upstairs. So the upstairs should be really easy to do. Um, it's got like a beige carpet on the floor. So we can put that in. It's pretty much this one, to be honest. And then it's got the same wall as downstairs. So let's bring this one up. Got a white banister here. Maybe this one's best, I think. Yep. There's a bed. Just a single bed for Cassandra. I think it may be something like this. It looks very similar. See, we've got a nice sort of reddish brown cover on it. Not really, but we can go, I think probably that one's the best. And there's an easel here. We've got a toy box here. I'm thinking this one. Sort of there. And then a dollhouse, just a standard looking dollhouse which we're going to have to size down quite significantly <laughs> and it's sort of there. That's pretty much her bedroom's done. There's pretty much nothing in it so we're just going to do the, the backyard now. So we just need to put down a concrete floor. We'll go for this one. Then there's a black fence around it. I think the closest is probably going to be sort of this one. Goes to there and then it goes to there. We've got another plant pot here which we need to put in. I think that's probably going to have to do. Next we need an outdoor dining table which I think is just a dining table. It's not an outdoor one. But we need a big one. They, they, use, they have very big dining tables in The Sims 1. This is probably the closest style. But we'd need two of them because said they, they had very wide tables. Something like that. Then we need some ta some chairs. I think we're probably going to go for something like this. Basic randomly placed. We need a little fountain here. This is pretty much the identical fountain in theory. It's a lot bigger. I don't think sizing it down is going to help really. Oh wait, that's better. Oh, the water doesn't work though if you size it down, does it? So we're probably going to have to keep it its original size. That's fine. Now for the outside walls, they've got a weird sort of tile on the outside. I don't think we're going to have something exactly the same, but we can find something similar. I think we might go for this one. It might be a bit too light, to be honest. But I think it's going to... It doesn't give the dark vibes that the, that the uh, Goth's house has. Maybe we go for the darker one, actually. Like for windows. We need some rounded ones, two rounded ones for here. One here and one here. 
So we need the windows for the rest of the house now. Just trying to find something that matches roughly what they had. Probably going to say that these um, these ones are the ones that match the most. To be honest, I think that's about as close as we're going to get. So there's one there. One there. We have one there and one there. I'll have to look at the other screenshots of the other sides in a minute. One there and one there. Got one here. All right, so around the front of the house, we have one here, then one here. Got two on here. Two here. Two here and two here. Here, here and here. Then upstairs, oh no wait, first downstairs we've got door and there's one there and then one there. Oh, need to put them in the right place, I'm going too low with them. I think that's all the windows in. So downstairs we need to put in a fence at the front again. the black fence we're gonna go for the same one it goes there there and then skips I think it's three one two three yeah goes to the end here and we've got a weird very weird flooring outside not quite sure oh I've still got it filtered on black it's very weird flooring outside not quite sure what one we can go for I'm thinking probably just a wooden one it almost looks like a a rush matting type thing. It's very similar to this. It's not. I think it's similar to that. Not exactly, but that's the kind of the closest I can see. Next, we need a door. They've got a nice front door with a oval bit of glass in it. I probably want it to be single wide, so it might even be something. Well, it's not really single wide, but I know that's not exactly the door type, but it's closest I can find. Then inside, there's some wooden doors, just this style, probably. That's going to be right next to that. That goes there. Goes there. That goes there. Now the roofing is going to be difficult to match. We can do it very similar. This style. Goes to about here. Oh. And to here. We'll bring the eaves out a little bit just to make it look a bit better. Then we've got a roof going this way. Oh, we'll pick, copy that one actually. To here. Then there's another bit of roof here. Which they do actually in the um is actually taller so that's fine <laughs> next so next on top of the bedroom they've got another one of this style to here oh i didn't pull the eaves out on that one i should have copied it it's my fault well, of course it's my fault i'm building it but Oh, I forgot they got a door from the bedroom out here. I've got that one. Then they've got a little tiny bit here. 
a lot smaller. Let's move that to be smaller. It only goes about as far as that as well. <laughs> it's a bit longer, maybe to there. Then they've got another one here. To here. Then that way a bit. Then they've got some reason they've got two different roofs on this bit. I'm not quite sure why. I think we're just going to put a, just a standard piece, to be honest. I can't really tell. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much what it looks like. I'm going to make it a little bit shallower, though. Yeah, there is another roof bit here. It's almost like they've... Um, only taking this one as far as say here and then put a smaller bit here which they may well have done to be honest knowing what the sims one is like yeah like that and then got another bit there maybe we'll do that a bit smaller almost it's almost that yeah that's the best i can do to be honest with the roof it looks a bit weird but that is pretty much how they've got it <laughs> Then we need a really dark tile on the roof. So let's see, what have we got? It's a very dark tile, almost black. And then next we've got like a little graveyard going. One, two, three, four steps. Then we need some square bushes. Maybe here, two. Cool. And we've got bush either ends of these. Got any small bushes? I think that's probably the vibe. Right, so we've got our headstones ready. Oh, just got to figure out where they all are. Oh, that one's slightly off center, isn't it? Yeah, it's over here more. For some reason, they went a bit more off center for the rest of them. Right, so I just realized that I've put the um, bushes too close together. So they should go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's how far they should go, but because they don't place right next to each other, and this should be four. I'm gonna have to put some more in and just sort of alt place them into each other really. I don't even have to alt place them, just shove them into each other. So it's a bit more bushes than is actually in the uh in the original goth house, but I think that works a bit better. Just wasn't matching up and I was trying to figure out why it wasn't matching up to start with but we got them in the end now we need a tree so I just need to do the landscaping and then we're done I think that's closer to what we need to be honest so there there that's cool there there's some on the hillside as well but <laughs> obviously I haven't terraformed at all so I might just put it in anyway it goes there We've got a tree sort of here, so we need to try and get a tree in. It's way too big. Um, I need a smaller tree. I just don't know what the smaller ones look like. I might have to size one down, to be honest. It's like a weeping willow type tree. Yeah, I'll probably just end up just sizing this one down, to be honest. The same tree is in the back garden here as well. Sort of about here. Oh, I forgot to say that. I was measuring that, wasn't I? They're going to be easier. This one goes here. This goes here. Goes here. Goes here. Oh, nope. It's very weirdly arranged house, to be honest. So then we've got tree here, but it's a slightly different tree than the one we've already used. Oh no, that definitely doesn't work. Maybe we just use this one size down back here. Then we've got another tree similar to this one at the front, near the front. So it's about here. There's another tree down this way, maybe sort of here. And then there's another tree over here, which again is a slightly different one, but I'm gonna put this one in. I think that's pretty much done. 
Right, so I've just moved the house to a slightly smaller lot because it looks a bit better. But yeah, here it is. Um, I hope I haven't missed anything. So we've got the uh, the walls and the cutout. You've got the uh, living room with their blue sofa. I always ended up putting a TV here when I was playing through. You've got the, the bedroom here, the bathroom, the kitchen. And you've got Cassandra's bedroom upstairs. And we've even got the little graveyard outside. Um, some of the trees might not have placed perfectly fine. Um, I th yeah, I think there's one over here that's been cut off, but just because I put it on a small lot, I just thought it looked a bit better. But yeah, that's that's basically the uh, the Goth's house. So that's it for me today, um, building the Goth house from Sims 1. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, I would appreciate a like or comment on the video. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. Uh, this will be uploaded to my gallery, which is also Gamer Orlo. Um, both myself and my partner upload um, houses onto there, so please check it out. Um, but apart from that, I hope everyone has a good afternoon, evening or morning, wherever you are. And stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.